Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Simon, and welcome to the next episode of The Flash. Um, this one's got to do with a nuclear man, it looks like Ronnie's back. So, yeah, it looks interesting. Um, last time out we saw... Um, we saw, again, I'm terrible with names, whoever it was, escaped um, after helping Cisco. And, um, yeah, so it just carried on. So, um... Can't really remember. Can't remember. So I'm just going to say we'll jump into the next episode and uh, hopefully we'll enjoy it. So how does a superhero get ready for a date? Same as everybody else. Share out, Barry? No. Everyone tells you to just be yourself. No, I took a shirt in. But who is that, really? You change one more time, I'm gonna shoot you. Punctual. Yeah, yeah, that is what my friends call me, Mr. Punctual. Is that lonely looking flower for me? Is this dumb? I thought about getting a full bouquet, but then I thought that was weird. No. It's awesome. Um, Barry, tuck your shirt in, please. Come on. Is he wearing trainers as well? Who do you think he is, David Tennant? Yes! Victory! <laughs> I told you these were the spiciest tacos in Central City. The water doesn't work. <clears throat> Just say it. I'm the champion of all things spicy. You are the spice champion of Central City. <laughs> well, this requires soap and water. I'll be right back. Mm -hmm. Should be drinking milk, Barry. That works better than water. In fact, water makes it worse. What's next? So, what's wrong with you? Why hasn't someone snatched you up yet? Uh, it's work. You know, if a man had said that to a woman, that could be deemed very offensive. What's wrong with you? Why has no one snapped you up yet? I know you're on a date, but we got a jumper on 52nd and Wade. Ah, this is going to be one of those episodes where he gets pulled left and right. Whilst he's on the... Are you going to let me go back up there? No. Well... Thanks. Yeah. What was that for? To see if I wanted a second date. And? Let me see one more time. <laughs> Definitely. Hey. Hey, Thanks for meeting me. Joe sure. and Cisco working what together? Exactly. What are you doing here? That's Barry's old house. Where his mother was murdered? I have a theory about who might have been involved in Barry's mother's death. I thought you and I could re-examine the crime scene. You could apply your technical expertise and help me prove who really did it. For sure. We should get Dr. Wells and Caitlin in on this. No, we should keep this between us for the time being. If too many people know Barry will find out, and I don't want to involve him until we know something definitive. Hello, ma'am. Um, Detective West, this is Cisco Ramon. Oh, please, it's Sherry. Like the drink? Uh -oh. What can I do for you, Detective? I don't know if you were aware, but there was a homicide in this residence approximately 15 years ago. Oh, I know. We've reopened the investigation. Do you mind if we come in and take another look around? Mm, not at all. Mm, okay. <clears throat> the open sort of chest yes, and I'm divorced. Is she and Joe going to get together? Well, it appears letting Ronnie roam free is no longer an option. He's not even Ronnie anymore. He's Martin Stein walking around in Ronnie's body like a vampire. Is there a reason that Stein's brain is in control of Ronnie's body, not the other way around? Simple Darwinism. I suspect a brand new organism will select the strongest parts of itself in order to survive. Survival of the fittest, in this case, Ronnie's body. Stein's mind, but any event, 
He badly hurt an innocent man, and we have hunted metahumans for less. Caitlin, we need to know that you're on board with what needs to be done here. How do we find him? Quentin Quayle, the scientist that Ronnie attacked, is a former colleague of Martin Stein's. If Martin is indeed in control of Ronnie's body, he may be trying to figure out exactly what's happening to him. What do we know about him? I, mean, I don't even know what Stein looks like. Martin Stein. That's Stein? It is. I've seen him before. When? On the train the day the accelerator exploded. Super cool, isn't it? Uh, Star Labs, I mean. Yes, it, it, it's super cool. <laughs> Trust Harrison Wells to build a particle accelerator with a bit of style. Most scientists don't have an appreciation of the value of aesthetics. Albert Einstein said once you can accept the universe as being something expanding into an infinite nothing, which is actually something. Wearing stripes with plaid comes easy. I, I thought people your age didn't read actual books anymore. Oh, I'm the only one. <clears throat> oh. Physics. Hobby or endeavor? Both, actually. I'm a CSI. I work for the Central City Police Department. Really? You, you look too young for that. That is what they tell me. <clears throat> Are you gonna watch the accelerator turn on tonight? I wouldn't miss it. They say it's gonna change the world. I hope so. Carson Station? Mm -hmm. Oh, this is my stop. It was nice talking to you. You too. Maybe I will see you there tonight. Excuse me. I'm taking a girlfriend, or not my girlfriend, she's just, uh, sorry, she's just a female friend who I'm not dating uh, yet. The doors are about to close. Yeah. <sighs> oh, yeah. Oh, okay. So he was involved in Firestorm. I see. So he was holding whatever this Operation Firestone is. Martin was always vocal about the competition. Star Labs is actually helping the CCPD looking into your husband's disappearance, Mrs. Stein. A lot of flashbacks this episode. Ah, so this is before he grew his hair out. get in here under the loose stone leave a key for me there I'm always losing my my keys losing my mind I'm going to call this my body where's my body I see my leg but I can't reach it please send someone there's an intruder in my house So it appears mm. Martin Stein and Ronnie Raymond have something in common besides sharing a body. They both feel the need to protect the women they love. I'm not picking up anything. Not even with the super light. Super light? Oh, technically it's a multi-spectrum ultraviolet laser enhanced scanner that detects molecular schisms in the 600 megavolt range, but I figured super light was easier to say. Right, but what does it tell you? <sighs> Nothing we didn't already know about that night. Okay, keep looking. <clears throat> uh, can I get you boys something to drink? Water, soda. She's definitely on it. Why? Uh, we're fine, thank you. Well, if you change your mind, I've been told my strawberry daiquiris are simple. I will not judge you. Okay. <laughs> Barry's mother's body was found here, knife beside her. Blood spatter on the wall belonged to Nora. Joe, I think, I just think maybe it's been too long. And everything's different. Except that mirror. 
Sherry must have bought it at the estate sale. Oh, my God. Silver Ooh, okay. nitrate. The compound used in photography. It was often used to back vintage mirrors. If there were two speedsters there that night, the sparks from their movement would have generated enough flashes to actually expose images onto the silver nitrate. Are you saying what I think you're saying? This it took a photo. contained photographs of what actually happened that night. Isn't that convenient? Hey! You look great. Well, I have a big date tonight and I kind of wanted to impress the guy. I think I can speak for that guy and say that he is super impressed. So, is this your place? It's awesome. Yeah. Well, not entirely. I grew up here. Is it really lame that I live at home? Not at all. I still live with my parents. Really? No. That would be so lame. <laughs> all right. So here's the plan. First, a dinner reservation at Paperclip, then a round of mini golf, followed by Mal Duncan, who was playing at an underground jazz club. But my foster dad has a connection there, so he hooked us up. And if you're not sick of me by then, we can get Froyo. Or... They could just do it. On the couch. Ooh, okay. So I'm assuming you have Barry on speed dial? Uh-oh. We're seeing skin. Mm. Wow. What's wrong? That felt amazing. I just got a little excited. Uh, I would hope so. Certainly not. I'm just, um, <laughs> a, a little worried Is this about really happening? Moving too fast. It's okay. I hate slow. <clears throat> uh oh, Barry, answer your phone. Stop thinking with your dick. I'm sorry, I should check just in case it's an emergency. Good. I'm so sorry. It's important. Not that this isn't important, it's just that, um,. So this just throw a clothes at us. Time sensitive. Otherwise, there's no way. Just tell you'll be back in like five minutes. No right mind would leave you. Um, your shirt's on backwards. Yeah, I got it. Okay, I will text you. All right. Uh, no, I'll call you. I'll call you. Or I want to just. I'll just do both. Okay. I got both. Just tell you'll be so five sorry. minutes, and you'll be back. You got super speed. I'm not here to hurt you, and I know you don't want to hurt anyone else, so if you could just not flame on. Why, why is he doing that? Like he's not... Okay. I still don't get why he's been antagonistic. Um, why would he stop? I don't get it if he wants to kill him. Why did he stop him from falling? Science is solid. It works exactly like an old film camera. I developed the mirror backing, and fortunately for us, the lightning went off about ten times that night. Multiple exposures. Now you're getting it. I went ahead and enhanced them digitally, and just for kicks, decided to extrapolate a 3D hologram from the original 2D. Just showing off now. Lights. Camera. Action. Wow. So there's one. That's a reverse flash. That's Barry. Can you play it again? Slower? There, there. You see that? Next frame.
clue. This wallpaper's new. Oh, man. Is that blood? blood? We had a husband who was holding the same weapon that killed his wife. We weren't looking for any other suspects. That blood belongs to one of the two speedsters that was here that night. Maybe the one that killed Nora. I'll get a sample. How did they not pick up the blood? They got you. There he is. Looks like the tracker Barry placed on him worked. Professor Stein? I told you to stay away from me. And I will, but there's someone else who wants to talk to you. Martin! Do you know who I am? Clarissa. Is it really you? I don't know. I hear the other inside of me. He wants to go home to her. But we can't. He'd want to be me again. Martin. What's my favorite color? You can, you can never decide. So you chose stripes. But you shouldn't see me like this. I see you. I see you, Martin. These people can help you. They say they can. Please, let them. What have you got to lose? Come on. Please. <clears throat> clearly thinks he can separate himself from Ronnie's body using nuclear fission. What do you think? What do I think? Is it possible? Theoretically. Splitting an atom and splitting a man are two very different things. It's finally cleaned up. I suppose it's necessary to point out you're all staring. Our apologies. It is remarkable. I feel clearer than I have since the accident. What did you give me? Cocktail of antipsychotics, depressants, mood stabilizers. The same formula used to treat dissociative identity disorder. I assume this was your idea. Mm. Clever, Kate. Don't call me that. Please. I apologize. We'd like to run some tests on you, if you don't mind. Of course, Dr. Snow. Hey, I'm so sorry I had to run out like that again. I, I, I police business. That's funny, because I just called the station and they said that you had taken some personal time. Mm. I'm not mad, Barry, I swear. But I do think that we should call it. Wait, wait, can we talk about this? What do you mean? Look, I know how hard and weird it is trying to date someone new when you're still not over someone. What are you talking about? You and Iris. Me and Iris? We're not... Who told you that I was hung up on Iris? Uh oh. Hey, you. Um, hey, what's up? Uh, why would you tell Linda that I had feelings for you? I did not say that. Wait, did I? Okay, Iris, this isn't funny. I mean, I like this girl. I know, and I am happy for you. Really? Because I don't. I mean, right now it sort of feels like you don't want to be with me, and you don't want anyone else to be with me either. I have wanted nothing more than for you to meet someone who is amazing. Mm -hmm. And I did. He thinks that and she's sabotaging that I was his relationships because she's I'm, jealous. I'm really sorry. Great. Do, what, do you want me to talk to her? No, 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 absolutely not. Don't talk to her. I'll figure this out on my own. I just need you to know that. I don't have those feelings for you anymore. See how she takes that? I know. Okay. I'll see you later. She's gonna do that thing where she's gonna get jealous now. Like, when you have something, you don't want it, but then when someone takes it away, you yes, really want it. Yes, yes. See, we got two different blood samples. One for each speech, too. That's right. One is A positive and the other one's AB negative. Super rare. I'm going to run them both through the CCPD criminal database to see if I get any matches. Can you run them against a specific person? Yeah, sure. If we have something to match Dr. To. Wells. Who are we looking at? Dr. Harrison Wells. Ooh. 
Yes. I thought we were trying to solve Barry's mom's murder. We are. And I'm asking you to keep this between us. You think Dr. Wells killed Barry's mom? <laughs> no way. He didn't even know Barry then. Why would he Just kill run the mom? test, Cisco. I don't know yet. But I do know that Wells keeps secrets. And this may be one of them. Dr. Wells is a great man. I was nothing when he gave me a job, a chance to change my life. He if he is, then so run the test. People. He's not a murderer. Cisco, I'm a cop. I'm good at reading people. So I know I can trust you with my suspicion. When I go talk to the family and friends of a murder suspect, somebody I know is guilty, and I tell them the person they love is a killer, guess what they all say? You're a good man. That's not the person I know. I think I'm done being a cop for today. Oh, come on, Cisco. What's he got to fear? I mean, if if he truly believes it wasn't him, then... Are you comfortable? It would come back negative. A little warm. Ronnie used to always run warm. Not that warm. You okay? Yeah, it's just... Confusing. What isn't confusing is what's happening to him now. Ronnie's body is rejecting Stein's atoms like a host rejecting a parasite. Mm. Something instability is causing an exothermic reaction. I worry if his temperature continues to rise, it'll set off a chain reaction. And then what happens? Then they both die. He could go nuclear. Oh, okay. That's that's different. That that's uh, more serious. Ronnie. Not Ronnie. Martin Stein. Cisco Ramon. Your colleagues are in the next room, not so subtly discussing my condition. That's not freaky at all. It seems Ronnie's fight with the Flash has exacerbated the Firestorm Matrix. It's unstable. Exponentially so the Matrix is inside, the but... inside his body. Well, how long does he have? His temperature keeps rising at the current pace. No more than a couple of hours. But you can fix it, right? I mean, you, you can separate them before it's too late. Any attempt we make to separate the two of them could be catastrophic. A nuclear explosion. And a nuclear explosion of this magnitude would level this entire city. Unless... Unless what? Unless the host body were no longer functional. So they want, want to kill him. Kill Ronnie? I don't want to kill Ronnie. But in this scenario, Ronnie is the host body. If you kill Ronnie, you kill Stein. That's two people. I don't know how else to stop it. And my guess is that if Ronnie and Professor Stein knew the consequences that we were all facing, they would make the same decision. It's two lives. For millions. <laughs> Either way, they, they are dead. Because if they go nuclear, they're dead anyway. Caitlin. I've already lost Ronnie once. I'm not going to do it again. You said we have a couple of hours. Use them. Dr. Wells, you don't really think we should kill Ronnie, do you? Stay here, Cisco. He's starting to question it now. Hey, what are you doing here? I gave you an out. I don't want an out. I don't want to date someone who's into someone else. I'm not into anyone else. I'm going to prove it to you. This is a Nagajolokia, or the ghost pepper. It is the world's <laughs> hottest pepper, measuring 401.5 no, times hotter than Tabasco sauce. If you do not agree to go on another date with me, I will eat it. Right here. Right now. I know at the time it was probably the world's hottest one, but now it's the Carolina Reaper. Right. I never bluff. Which is twice as hot. Are you okay? We're fine, yeah. You sure? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, yes, I'll go out with you. <gasps> that pepper could have killed you, Mary. Right. Mm. Oh, thank you. Okay. I will let my job. Or <laughs> how bad my mouth is burning right now. Come between us. <laughs> 
I would like to thank Rhett and Link for teaching me about the ghost and the ghost pepper and the Carolina Reaper. Trust me, he would be running around in a lot of pain right now. Oh. Oh, he has a gun. A crude weapon, if I may say so, Dr. Wells. I couldn't agree more, Gideon. But it will do the job. Gideon, can the tachyon prototype be converted into a quantum splicer? Theoretically, but I must warn you, Dr. Wells, converting the tachyon prototype will delay your timetable. There's not going to be a timetable if Central City goes up in a mushroom cloud. So he's actually going to hey. use his work for hey, some hey. good? I have an idea. It's a bit of a Hail Mary, but Cisco and I are going to give it a try. Thank you. I'll get Professor Stein. Looking for the professor? Yeah, he's gone. Oh. Uh. You guys almost done? Hang on, hang on. I found Stein. He's in the Badlands, the middle of nowhere, 30 miles outside of Central City. Minimum safe distance. He's sacrificing himself. How much time does he have left? 12 minutes. That's still going to cause and a lot of damage. Nuclear fallout. What is uh, it? Radioactive rain. Is a quantum splicer. Will it work to separate them? We'll know in 12 minutes. Now, Barry, even you cannot run a nuclear blast, so you get this device to Professor Stein and you get out of there as fast as you can. What are you doing? Why is she... With you. No, no. You're not. It's too dangerous. Barry doesn't know how to operate the splicer. Cisco's going to talk me through it. There's not enough time. Let's go. Go. What was that? Can I get 30 miles in that amount of time? Uh, calm systems on the fritz. I'll be right back. Is it a match? Has he been? Uh, did he run the Cisco, DNA test? I'm not proud of it, but I ran the samples. One wasn't identified, and the other had a match. Cisco, you're hesitating. Was it Wells? No, it's not Dr. Wells. I told you he has nothing to do with this. But I know whose blood it is. Whose? It's Barry's. We already know Barry was there that night. No, 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 no. You don't understand. The sample had high levels of P16. That's a protein that builds up in the blood as we get older. And these levels were way too high for an 11-year-old. Old Barry? The sample was from Barry as an adult. What? Is this to do with time travel? Is that what it is? What? What are you doing here? You can't be here! Get her out of here! Now! Please! Look, Ronnie's still in there somewhere! Oh, those people. Clarissa, I won't let them die. It's better I end this now. We can separate you! We can stop the explosion! What's she waiting for? How? A quantum splicer. It's a fission device designed to bombard your atoms with as much energy as they experience in a particle accelerator explosion. Should be enough to separate you. Please, Professor, you have no What have you got to lose? to lose? Come on, exactly. Let's do it. Ronnie, if you're in there, I love you. If that was Professor Stein, that's creepy. That was from him. Uh, it was as well. I look forward to meeting you in person. Professor. Come on, stick on. It's not working! It's not gonna make it, he's gonna blow! Get out of there. Barry, get out of there, now! Oh crap. Sir, we have a thermonuclear detonation approximately 30 miles northeast of Central City. Deploy the rapid response team, Sergeant. Bring me Firestorm. Oh, he knows about it. Okay, so apparently Barry cannot run a nuclear blast. Um, is. 
So is Ronnie going to have survived? I mean, I'm, I can't assume that they would have done, but I'd, I wouldn't be surprised if he, if they both survived and they both came out as separate beings after the nuclear blast. But um, Barry's blood as an adult. So was he there as well? Was he trying... I mean, has there been some sort of time travel? Are we going to see this culminate where... Wells goes into the, the past, Barry follows him, and they both... He's chasing him, and they're fighting, and that's why there's Barry's blood, and his mother ends up getting killed. I don't know. I'm confused. That's what I think is probably going to happen. I'm confused. But, um, interesting episode. A lot of flashbacks, a lot of disposition, uh, a lot of backgrounds given there. But it was a decent episode, so um, I'm looking forward to seeing where we go from here. Getting very close, I feel, to the time whereby it's all going to culminate and uh, Wells is going to be shown up for who he is. So, uh, yes, I hope you enjoyed it, guys. Let me know if you did, and uh, I'll see you for the next episode.